Hey guys, today we're going to be installing above kitchen cabinet LED strip lights and below kitchen cabinet LED strip lights to uh, really shine up our countertops when we're working in the kitchen. And we're going with a really easy method. I think you'll like this method today. It is going to be pretty much plug and play. It's up to you how involved you want to get into it, but uh, here are the items that we're going to be using. Okay, I'll go over this real quick. I'm going to need two Z-Wave outlet switches and these are just different kinds. This one's a little bulky. I'm going to be uh, trying to hide these away anyway. You can find smaller ones but I want two Z-Wave ones so it can work with my SmartThings hub. <clears throat> also I've got two uh, 32 foot rolls of LED light strips left over that I was able to splice uh, in connectors on and I've got other end connectors right here so I'm gonna uh, use what I need to span through over my cabinets and under my cabinets with these two rolls here and then re-splice another roll if I need it because I do have extra controllers right here and power adapters for these LED lights now you can buy these in smaller sections like uh, the 16 footers and then these can be cut to the length you need. So if you don't want to splice, you don't have to. That's why I'm saying this is a plug and play method. So you can already buy these with the uh, Wi-Fi uh, Alexa adapters right here. And I've got a couple of these, like I said, because I'll be splicing. But you're going to be doing plug and play. I've got everything listed in the description below so that you can just buy a 16 foot roll or like four 16 foot rolls you might need and then just cut the LEDs where where the cut strip where it shows you that you can cut them uh, like right there as a cut section right where those copper points are and you can cut it to the length you need I'm also going to be using uh, every LED strip roll strip I've had uh, has been uh, peel and stick on the back side but they never stick really well so I'm going to be supplementing with this 3M uh, tape adhesive, double-sided double 3M adhesive strips and reinforcing this as I go along. So that's probably going to be the most time-consuming part of it. I've also got a couple extension cords I'm going to need because like I said, it's just a plug-and-play. We're not installing wall outlets and wall switches and stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to be using uh, a couple of these. I bought these off of Amazon because I like the, uh, the flat heads and they rotate as well for the outlet. So they stay close up against your, uh, your backsplash or wherever you're going to be plugging these in. They're not bulky heads on the plug. And then one other thing we're going to be using is the other thing we'll be using is one of these uh, Echolink sensors, motion sensors so that uh, that's why I told you we're not going to be using wall switches or putting in any wall outlets and switches into the kitchen because we're going to have it all automated through Z-Wave through these sensors to turn the lights on automatically and the, the uh, LED roll lights that I told you about they have the Amazon uh, Alexa uh, remote controllers included so we can tell them to change colors Tell them to turn on and off all by Alexa when we get done. Okay, today before I add all of my LEDs to the uh, kitchen cabinets, uh, remember I told you I'm reusing the roll and I've already done the splicing and uh, you won't have to do that if you pre-order your rolls for the length that you need. But uh, just say for instance, uh, this was a roll purchased 
just like I show you in the description below. Purchase that one and it comes with your power source, remote controller, and it will also come with these. Even though I purchased this separate because I'm doing splicing now and I've already used this whole setup on, uh, I put it below my bed, my bedroom, and I had all this left over. So, But this is what it originally came with, the power pack unit, the remote control, and it also came with one of these Wi-Fi adapters that will work with your Amazon Alexa. But I want to get uh, four of these set up, four of these Wi-Fi's pre-set up on my uh, smartphone or tablet for the house. And uh, we're going to get these set up right on the bench here. And I want them all four set up so that when I go into the kitchen to start installing and plug it all in, then uh, I can just pull up my phone and then start uh, finding them and locating them on Amazon Alexa. It's going to be totally Wi-Fi. And make sure you plug this in the right way. Now it's got a little uh, red arrow right there. I don't know if you can see that red arrow right there. Trust me, it's an arrow. And then trust me, there's an arrow on this on one side, which uh, now the arrow is on the bottom side <clears throat> and this red arrow is on the bottom side. So plug it in that way. And then I'll grab my power cord here. <clears throat> and we've got our power cord plugged in and our lights are activated. Okay, now I've got my tablet and we're going to go into my smart home categories and I've already pre-installed Magic Home app right here. That's what this controller works off of, the Magic Home app. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Close that up. Okay. So we're going to add a device. And sign in with your Magic Home account. Let me sign in. I've already established that because I already installed a couple of these. Okay, we're signed in and it says uh, connect device to Wi-Fi. Turn on the light and select it from the list below. And I'm going to hit this refresh. And it came right up. So we're going to go ahead and press that. We selected it. Okay, select your Wi-Fi. And that's my Wi-Fi network. I'm going to go ahead and put my password in now. Connection was successful. And now I can name these lights. So I'm going to name this first one. I'm going to name the first one Top Cabinets. Top Left Cabinets. And done. Okay. Lights on. It says brightness 100. Let's click into it. And it says they're green now, right? There's a little plus sign there. Let's see if I scroll this over to blue. They've changed to blue. I'm going to scroll it over to red and let's watch these LEDs. They've changed to red, yellow, green. So our remote control is working now. We haven't uh, set it up to Alexa, but this is the first step. This is the step I wanted to get done first. And I'm going to go ahead and label this. I'm going to write on this uh, top left cabinets and then move on to the next Wi-Fi module uh, for the top right cabinets. And then we'll do the bottom left cabinets and the bottom right cabinets. Okay, I've added a multi-outlet that hugs up against your wall outlet right there. Turns it into six more outlet ports. And I'm going up here to the right side cabinet area and I've got the Z-Wave outlet switch up here and this extension cord and I'm going to run it down this void that I have, this little triangle void. Run the plug down there and drop it down and there it is. So I'm going to tack this up underneath the cabinet here and go to that outlet. Okay, I've got the extension cord going to plug in right there and I've got it tacked along the back underside there and going up in that void I showed you and then it travels up this way and I've got it tacked again up here 
holding the outlet end and this is the uh, smart switch got adapted to it plugged in I'm gonna let that hang down just like that because I'm gonna plug into that switch here this is the z-wave switch which I want to control the bottom countertop lights down here okay now on this left side cabinet uh, I've got the cord run down here that will be plugged in right there in that outlet and I've got it tacked up underneath and it's going up in that void that I showed you about and it comes up here and I've got it tacked in a couple places right here and I drop down the z-wave this side is z-wave the other side is a, a plug outlet that goes straight through power all the time this one is the z-wave switch and I've just got a short cord on here and I want to hang that down because that's where I'm going to plug in the bottom countertop LED strips. And I'll run the top ones back up here and put the LED strips, tack them up along the inside of here. This upper molding all along there. So we've got both sides supplied with power now. Now, if you're not lucky enough to have those uh, empty voids on the side of the cabinets going up here, like I have, which you probably won't be that lucky, then you'll have to open up your cabinets and drill about a three quarter inch hole through the bottom of your cabinet and just run your cord up uh, through the top back corner all the way up to the top, drill another three quarter inch hole right there and get your power up through that way. So. Uh, stay tuned, I'll show you how to hang the LED lights, attach them, and get them working. Okay, in this situation, you can see I'll be running my LED lights right up underneath here, this molding, and around and back. And then I have to get it down here to this lower level. And if you're back away from here, you'll see the LED coming over the top there. And I don't want that, so I'm going to have to drill a hole down here, half inch hole, in through the top and then a half inch hole coming down out this way, out through here, lower. And then I can bring it up around here, around this lower molding. And then I'll have to do the same over here, drill into the side of the cabinet at the back there, and then come up on the inside of this molding here. And then I'll probably have to do the same over there. So let me get drilling. We'll drill a few holes here. Well, Take that long I've got a half inch drill bit here we're ready to go okay I've applied my super sticky 3m tape and that's how they advertise this as super sticky and if we go up here to the top molding you can see where I've applied it all along here it's gonna be facing out from the molding and I've applied it all the way down and all the way around and even on that upper and lower there so knowing me the challenge is going to be since I don't have any nails uh, peeling the top layer off that super sticky tape before I apply my LED strip lights to it Okay, what I want to do now is go into my uh, Magic Home app 
for my smart LEDs. <clears throat> and I'm going to add uh, the plus sign here. Click on that. And I want to add a group. The group name's going to be now I have a group name of upper cabinets now I want to click on that upper cabinets and add the lights to there that will be in that group uh, assign devices I'll check that and upper right cabinets check that then I'll confirm so now I have that as a, a group upper cabinets I can hit that switch both of them go off and hit the on off switch both of them go on and the next thing we'll want to do is set up a timer for those because I want those to come on every night at a certain time probably about 7 p.m. every night and then they'll go off uh, maybe around 2 a.m. or something like that. So let's try that next. Group, upper cabinets. I'm gonna press that. And then we wanna click on this alarm or timer setting at the top there. And it's a timer. And we'll create a timer. The timer, right now it says 12.50 a.m. We're gonna click on that. And we're gonna do uh, seven, seven uh, p.m. So seven p.m. Confirm. Action will be turn on. At 7 p.m., action will be turned on, and it will be repeat every day. So I want to make sure every day is highlighted. It's going to turn on, and I'll hit confirm. Every day, 7 p.m., it turns on. All right, so we're going to do another timer. To turn it off we'll create a timer and we'll do every day at let's just say 2 a.m. confirm turns off and we'll repeat that every day of the week it turns off at 2 a.m. and confirm so now we have two timers repeated every day of the week 7 p.m., those lights are going to turn on. At 2 a.m., they're going to turn off. And that's what you have to do. And go back. And we've got them set now on, right in the center, on white for upper cabinets. Let's make them, um, we'll make them like a lime green, neon green. Okay, and we'll go back. So those should be set now to come on and off. They'll come on every night at 7 p.m. And they'll turn off at 2 a.m. Every day of the week. So we don't have to worry about the upper cabinets anymore. They're all set. Uh, and the lower cabinets are going to be set. Uh, th well, they're going to be uh, switched on by motion detection, and I'll show you where that motion detection uh, sensor uh, is located, where I put it, and I think it's in a good spot. You be the judge of that, and let me know about where I put that motion sensor, if you agree on that. I think it's a good, very, very good spot. It's down at the floor near your feet, so it only comes on uh, to light up those countertops when you need them the most. All right, we're going to check this out now. We've got those uh, upper cabinet lights in. 
and we've got our countertop LED strip lights in as well. They're both LED strip lights up there above the cabinets on both sides and then below on the countertops. And what I've got here is if you walk in, the sensor over here is going to turn on the kitchen lights. Okay, so you got the kitchen lights. It kind of washes out the top lights, but if you're sitting over here watching TV in the evening, those kitchen lights will turn out and then you've got that glow above there. And uh, we've got those stone lights on there on the front stone on the island. And if you notice, uh, I don't know if you can, but the countertop lights, LED strip lights are not lit yet. And that's because I put a sensor and they're operated by the Smart Home Z-Wave uh, system. And the sensor is actually down here. It's right there on the corner on that kick panel. Right on that kick panel right there. That's where the sensor is. So that won't come on unless you walk behind here. Okay, this is our finished product and we have installed upper cabinet LED lights as well as the lower countertop lights. <clears throat> right now we have on the upper cabinet lights, they're set to the green color and I can tell Amazon Alexa to change those if I like. So we'll try that now. Echo, set upper cabinets to yellow. Okay. Echo. Set the upper cabinets to blue. Okay. Okay, this is the demonstration of me walking through and kicking that motion sensor on by my motion walking through and it should turn on the countertop lights underneath the cabinets. Successful, they worked. Echo, turn on the kitchen. Okay. So as you can see with the kitchen uh, ceiling lights on and those are controlled with the motion sensor on the wall right here. You can still see the LED lighting up top, kind of, uh, but it really helps with the LED lighting uh, on your countertops right there. It takes all the shadowing out from underneath the cabinets here and gives you a bright, nice glow. As you can see here, 